development across the nation. But this was not just another peasant's revolt. It was the uprising of the boxers. This was the name given to the starving peasants who wanted to purge the empire of the western Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak. I wanted to talk about a particular event in history that I admire very much and uh, it's, it has to do with of course the Boxer Rebellion. I am a fanatic when it comes to the Boxer Rebellion. And I just wanted to, sorry, I put my book away. I actually read a book and it's entitled Warrior Cults by Paul Elliott. This is a very good book. It talks about uh, different types of warrior cults. The, the Knights Templar. They talk about um, the Roman Empire and the Ninja. And of course, the Boxers, which is one of my favorite ones. And there's other stuff uh, in, in here too. And uh, this is a very good book. And it talks about the actual um, history from this person's research. And I actually agree with it. The thing I wanted to, uh, a point that I wanted to make out on this one is the fact that the boxers were not easy to kill, despite what history has said. There's a couple of sources, and of course, this being one of them, even before I read this book, I, I read from one, one source. There was a couple of sources that I found out in which the boxers were very difficult to kill. It took eight, it took eight nations, an army from eight nations. They pretty much defeated the first wave of the 2,000-man expedition, so it was 16,000 24,000 foreign soldiers that fought and they were forced to retreat because there was way too many um, boxers uh, the, 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 the size of this uh, rebellion was so large so they were forced to retreat and then they actually came back with a much larger force um, numbering over a hundred thousand or whatever of all of all combined uh, all combined of eight nations and then it said even in the military reports and here uh, this picture here from 1901 of the execution of a boxer cultist and uh, it says uh, here which made a lot of sense it says that um, from this one military report which made a lot of sense to me it said here according to this report it says they worked themselves into an extreme state of hypnotism and certainly do not for the moment feel body wounds. We have all learned that they could take a tremendous lot of killing. 
and I myself put four men stopping revolver bullets into one man before he dropped. So what does that tell you? And it says here that um, during these rituals, they would go into a fit-like state. Um, they would work themselves into a frenzy and they would go into like this one fit-like um, state and then they'll start drooling from the mouth and acting as if they were like, as if they were geeked up on, on PCP kind of thing. They would get um, hit with swords, stabbed with spears, and even though they got cut and stabbed, they didn't feel the pain and they did their acrobatics and as they were bleeding and then acting like crazy berserker like maniacs. And of course they eventually died afterwards. Most of them did and some of them got seriously hurt. They were trying to create a unstoppable force and to a degree they were successful but not to the level that they actually hoped for. And there was another source from another European saying that they were um, that they were on some sort of drug during their rituals. They did some they did some kind of drug, possibly opium laced with something else. Who knows? And once it kicks in and they get all geeked up from this from this one drug that they use, it's like PCP and they become berserkers and they fight in a battlefield. And even in the book, it said that. The, the Europeans that faced the boxer warriors were often disconcerted in finding them hard to kill. So they were basically like shooting them and they're like, what the fuck, how come they're not dropping right away? And they would shoot four or five times until they finally did drop. And they were, and they were trying to force, uh, the boxers were trying to force uh, the Europeans to fight in close quarter combat, obviously. And they were very difficult to handle until so the International Relief Force came by and then they fought a 90 mile path to, uh, to Peking. And of course, when they started using cannons and machine gun fire, of course, that's it, you know, there's, there's nothing, uh, I, don't, I don't care how geeked up you are in drugs, you're, you're going to go down with that kind of firepower. And um, unless you get shot in the face or in the head by a regular rifle or a handgun, then you're done and over with. Uh, the thing about it is, it was a very bloody battle. And despite what, what history says, because history is usually written by the victor, and they, could have, and they actually have the advantage to write whatever they want, even exaggerate or even bullshit on certain type of battles or how something went. They actually, um, well, they don't have the right, but they, they, they actually do it anyways. Um, to me, I just think that they were very difficult to kill. And I don't think, think of the boxers as being infamous. As the way, the history, as the way history makes them out to be from, from uh, the Westerners. They were known as the righteous, harmonious fists. And, or the fists of righteous harmony. And before that, um, they were they're actually an offshoot from the Eight Trigram Society. And before that, it was the White Lotus, the White Lotus Clan. And so they were an offshoot from from from, from many for many uh, decades, as through through the decades. And then they aligned themselves with the Great Sword Society and other uh, other um, secret societies, and then they just fell under the. The Fist of Righteous Harmony. Um, so it's it's pretty much how I really feel. I do I do believe that that it's not exactly accurate the way. Uh, and also they said that uh, only two thousand five hundred foreign so for, uh, foreign soldiers were killed in the battle of the, of the entire Boxer Rebellion, which I, which I think is absolute bullshit. I'm pretty sure that the the death toll was was much higher. It had to be somewhere between six thousand or seven thousand foreign soldiers that were killed in battle fighting against the boxers as well as the imperial army. 
Um, as far as how many boxers were killed, I, I honestly don't know that they don't have an exact number, just an estimate, as well as the Imperial troops. But I know that the death toll of the foreign forces has to be more than, a lot more than 2,500. And I got it from Wikipedia, and I, I know that Wikipedia is not really a, a reliable source from what I hear. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And to all of you, take care.